Hi, I'm Matt Cole. Welcome to The Hub Show. In this episode of the show, we're giving away a Bell Super 2R helmet, taking a look at the Chain Reaction Cycles PayPal Nuke Proof Pulse Team Bike, talking about mechanical doping, an ostrich chasing cyclists, and plenty more. This is the Nuke Proof Pulse that Team Chain Reaction Cycles riders Sam Hill, Mike Jones, Joe Smith, and Elliot Heap will be racing on at this year's UCI Downhill World Cup and British Downhill Series races. A custom painted frame based on the production Nuke Proof Pulse, the Team Pulse uses RockShox suspension front and back, a SRAM XO group set, Mavic wheels and Nuke Proof finishing kit. Use the bike in action during the team's pre-season camp over in Spain. You can find out more about the Team Pulse via the link in the description below. Mechanical doping has hit the headlines of cycling recently, with the UCI testing an increasing number of pro bikes for internal motors. Here's an example of how such a system works. Early detection methods seem a lot less sophisticated than we would have thought, as you can see in this video where it's believed that the UCI are using basic electromagnetic field detection apps in order to scan the bike and pick up the signal from a hidden motor. We're loving all Martin Ashton's social updates as he continues to adjust to life after breaking his back at a trials demo. Martin's most recently taken his first steps on an Indigo exoskeleton and he's also been riding his specially adapted mountain bike up in Bike Park, Wales too. If you want to keep up with everything that Martin's up to, head over to the Global Mountain Bike Network. What a guy. Here's something we thought we'd never see. A group of cyclists in South Africa being chased by an ostrich. No more words necessary. What would your reaction be if this happened to you? Let us know in the comments section below. If you find it a hassle to park your bike safely and securely, then a robotic bike park, a new breed of cycle storage, could be the thing for you. They're self-contained units which can store up to 204 bikes at a time, safely and securely. Do you think this is the future for cycling? Let us know in the comment section below. In the last episode of the show, we gave you the chance to win a big bundle of cycling goodies. You can see all the winners' names via the link in the description below. In this episode of the show, we're giving you the chance to win this, a Bell Super 2R helmet. For your chance to win, click the competition link in the description below. I'm Matt Cole, that was The Hub Show. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram and Snapchat. And while you're there, don't forget to subscribe. You can keep up with what it. <laughs> you can keep up. 
didn't keep <laughs> done. That was it. Yeah? Good. Happy? Yeah. <laughs>